Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi for any robotics project. This is how I've been doing it for the last three years, and it's going to work on any robotics project that you want. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to get the software we need to install the operating system and update it. Then we're going to enable all the interfaces for robotic sensors and actuators. Then we'll install the extra software I always use. And finally, we're going to make some changes to the terminal and to how we use Python. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go to raspberrypi.com, go to software, and then we're going to download the imager. I'll install it. And now to get the operating system on the memory card for your Raspberry Pi, I'm just going to install this into my computer. I'll open Raspberry Pi imager and the operating system, regular 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS and the storage. It already sees that I've put my storage card in and write. Everything's going to be erased. Are you sure? Yes. You can now remove the card. Okay, continue. So now the card will go into the Raspberry Pi. First thing that we're going to do now that we're logged in is update the operating system. So this takes two commands, sudo app update. Update tells it where we're actually grabbing all of our new packages from. And then sudo app upgrade. Upgrade is the upgrade of all of our software packages. Okay, next we're going to enable the interfaces so that we can read the pins and write to them easily. So for that, we go to the start menu, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, and then interfaces. I always like to add secure shell because I would like to write code from here. So I want spy, I squared C, serial, almost never need one wire, but I'll still add it. And I don't use remote GPIO, I use regular GPIO. And okay. Would you like to reboot? Yes, you can. I'm doing a screen record, so I can't. Now we're going to open up terminal and get the software we need. This is really simple. We just type sudo app install code. This will give us Visual Studio Code. Okay, as a little trick, if you want the software I use for screen recording, that's sudo app install simple screen recorder. And whenever you use it, uh, just make sure you save it as type mp4, not wmv. Okay, now for the last bit, we're going to change some settings in the terminal to make it a lot easier to just use the terminal and to work with Python. Okay, so we're going to just type cd tilde to go to the home directory, code space period. So we're gonna open Visual Studio Code in the home directory. And I wanna open the .bashrc file. Okay, so I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom and I'm gonna add a few lines in here, alias python equals python3 and alias pip equals pip3. So whenever we type python, it's gonna run python3. Whenever we run pip, it'll run pip3. Now I'm going to scroll up just a bit and I want this alias of LL to work for me. So I'm uncommenting it. So anytime I write LL, it's the very long command of LS minus L. And I'll go to file, auto save. And now I'll just go back up to the terminal, type pip, install, dash dash upgrade, pip. And I'll type Python dash dash version, Python 3.9. And pip dash dash version tells me that it's the pip that works with Python 3. So it's perfect. Okay, now that we have everything set up, I have a little motor, a servo attached to my Raspberry Pi. And we're just gonna run some code to make sure that everything works. And it's Python and it's nice and simple. There we go. Easy as that. Now you can have this set up so your Raspberry Pi works for any robotics project you ever wanna do. Thanks for watching.